guys, I know it's been a while since my last video, but welcome back to another video. Today, we will be drawing Kenshiro from Hokuto no Ken, otherwise known as Fist of the North Star. Alright, let's get started right away. First, as always, we're going to be drawing his face, really. And um, you're going to start off with a circle, as always, like this. All right, that's good. Let me make the circle a little lower. There we go. Now, we're going to put in a line for the center of his face. He'll be like his face will be slanted slightly to the um this way. To the this way. Wow, I know how to English. Like this. Um I think that's to the left. This will be slanted slightly to our left, his right. Alright, that's the center line we're going to put in for him. Now, we'll put in the basic shape of his face. I'm going to start off from the side of the circle right about here. It's going to come down. He's got a very manly face, much like um, Hirohiko Araki's first three parts. It's got a very square jaw. It's going to come down like this, and about here, we're going to see his chin, nice big chin, and really the same thing on the other side, but a little slanted since he's looking sideways. So, like that. Alright, now we're going to put in his ear, which will be like this, where their lines meet a little lower than that, where the circle and the chin line intersects. The ear is going to start here, go around, and up this way. Uh, same thing on the other side. The ear is going to start here, go around, except we'll see less of the ear because his face is turned slightly to the side. Just like that. Right, now let's put in the line for his eyes. Line for his eyes will be um, somewhere, I'd say right about where his chin goes up to here. So, right about here. And again, it's going to be slightly slanted because, well, he's looking um, with his head tilted sideways. Like this. And... Another line going just like that. There we are. Now we're going to put in, well, let me lighten all this. I drew this very dark. Keep in mind that these are guidelines, which will be erased later, so you should be drawing these very lightly. He lightened that up, yeah. Okay, now let's put in the nose. Across the center line, which uh, I hope still shows on the video. From about at the eye line right here. I'm going to make a line like this. Let it go down to the center. And um, right until about here, we're going to stop. This is going to be the bottom of the nose. So it's going to come down here. And then there. Just like that. That's going to be his nose size right here. Like that. And we're going to have another lighter line coming from the side, making the same shape. Now, it's like this. We're going to put in the rest of his nose. The nose shape is really weird. Um, I hope you can just replicate that. It's strange, to say the least. Alright. Let me erase the circle here, so you can see better. Like that. And then, we're gonna 
have the rest of his nose come up like this, like the little thing at the side of the nose, just like that. So that's going to be his nose. Same thing on the other side, just like that. There, we very simply just got our nose shape for our Kenshiro. His so nose shape is really weird. Try your best to replicate this shape. In fact, I may have drawn the nose a tad too big, but that's fine. There, I think that should be good enough. Alright. Now, let's put in his eyes, my favorite part. So right at the bottom of the eye line right here is where his eyes are going to lie. So for the shape of the eyes, it's going to be very similar to the JoJo style for Jotaro's eyes. Um, we're going to come up like this. Okay, let's see if I can zoom in. Rip quality, but it's going to help. Come up like this. And then there'll be a line going over it like that. And then another line coming down like this. It's a weird. It's it's strange, to say the least. Uh, just like that. We're going to make kind of a rectangular, a rounded rectangular shape, I guess you could call it. Right? Make that a little too. Right? There we go. Now, we're going to put in his eyebrows, which is going to come down across that little line we made over here. And then, his eyebrows are really thick, so they're going to be in this general shape. And they're going to... Come up like this very thick eyebrows it's like that there we are and we're gonna put like his brows furrowing over here for that we're gonna put take another line off the side from here and pull it up make a little like hook shape oh god my camera is refocusing a lot isn't it make a little hook shape like this All right. Um, let's move on to the other eye. Uh, right here. Uh, this must be so annoying for you guys. My camera seems to want to keep reshifting as I draw. I don't know how. Like, do I? Hmm. On oh, one sec. I'll be right back, guys. All right. Um. I may have fixed the problem, I'm not sure, hopefully, uh, we'll see. Let's get started, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, I'm gonna make that shape, strange oblong shape, it's gonna come down like this, and then right here we're gonna see that little um thing at the side of the eye right here. Same thing on this side. And his eyebrows again, which are gonna come down over here. Very thick eyebrows. Just keep that in mind. Come up like this and go back down. And I'm just giving it like this kind of scratchy line shape because in the art style of the creator, you can actually kind of see his every individual hair as it gets closer to the end right there. Like over here, you can kind of see it. And over here, you can just more hair. And then we can fill it in over here. And the same general idea for the bra furrowing over here. I could go up like that. There we go. Alright, let's zoom back out. Yep. Now, let's uh, put in... Oh, I forgot. I should probably put in the irises. That must look really weird. Alright. Uh, 
I'm thickening up the eyelashes a little, just a little or around the side like this. Now the irises are pretty big by this artist standard, like that. And just about there, we have the irises of Kenshiro done. Let's move on to the mouth, which is very simple. Um, if you look at real human mouths, it's very pouty and serious looking. So right about um, maybe where this line is, where this line goes across the chin, yeah, curves inwards. We're going to start the side of the mouth. It's going to come up. And down kind of like that yeah this is we're gonna make this shape with our mouth it might look it, yeah it's gonna look a little weird right now as it is but uh, it'll, it'll get better once we put in the rest of it so we're gonna have another line for the upper lip coming up like this and then curving coming back down and another curve it's gonna stop right there and same thing on the other side it's gonna come up and just follow the line of the lower lip we're gonna do the same thing for the bottom lip just but this time it's just a straight line across like this and coming up like this there's gonna be a lot of cross hatching and shading over here to get a very well-defined lower lip like this and some hatch lines across the upper lip for some shadow and detail all right that's the basic shape of Kenshiro done right now Alright, let's put in the rest of his body. The hair is going to come up this way and across the line of the circle. It's going to come along like this. And it's very, he has a lot of hair, like a lot, I'm saying. So we're going to draw his uh, hairline, which will come up about this way. And from it stemming is like a lot, a lot of hair. For the hair, I'm going to like do it really simply and just put in like a very basic outro of it you, you can tell like what I'll tell what I do when I'm actually inking the hair um for now just make these I guess curled shapes for the hair kind of like horns I guess horns which will go upwards and downwards and around and just a lot of them varying in size and shape around the body I mean around the head I'll have another one going upwards maybe this one splits into two and we'll have more it's very dense hair and try to keep most of these ones going um, towards the top because that's what this character is kind of based around. Like, he has a lot of, like, fire-like hair going up top and hair coming down like this. So, yeah. We're going to do... The, we're going to do more of these shapes going around. And just put a couple of lines indicating that there's some hair stemming from this area you can you can again tell more clearly when I ink it after I ink it what I'm doing all right and then some hair behind the ear which will kind of come around here all right and there'll be smaller strands because there's going to be less and less hair. And this is, I'd say this is 
Maybe after I do the hair around the sides, I can put in the neck because that'll help us place the bottom side of the hair. So, uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's put in the neck. Right now, I'm going to put in the neck. He has a very thick neck. So, from here, yes, from here, let me move it down a little. Neck is going to come out this far. Like this. Yeah, that's how thick his neck is. It's crazy, really. And, um, on the other side, we're gonna do the same thing from the side of the ear. Like, maybe, so here, we're gonna have the other side of his neck come around like this. Yeah, this is, <laughs> that's such a thick neck. Kind of reminds me of Giant Ball Z and how thick their necks are at times. But, like, this is even thicker than their necks. Alright. It's gonna come around like this. And this will help us place the rest of the hair. Like, now we can put in a top of the hair going this way. And maybe some going this way. Just some hair to finish off this side, this portion of our Kenshiro's hair. Alright, just adding more volume because I feel like the hair should go outwards more. There, that's good. We're gonna do something very similar on the other side. We're gonna put in the shape which will, like defines the shape of our character's face and the hairline at the side, which goes from about here. And then some lines to show that that is where the hair is stemming from and we'll make these shapes again these upwards fire like shapes yeah All right um since he is turned a little to the side we'll show a little less hair on the side and then the same kind of thing where we'll have some hair showing on this side across the neck like this and then tufts of hair that will come out just like that all right Alright, this is probably looking very weird as it is right now. Let me move the camera up as it is right now, but it'll be fixed in a second. Alright, now we get to the fun part. This, you see where our um, center line comes up over here? This is where we'll, our hair that will fall up like on his face will come out from. So I'll just darken that in so you know. And, uh, yeah, this is going to be fun. You'll understand what I mean when I start drawing. All right, so first we'll have, let me erase the center line now. We'll have a strand of hair coming down on his face, coming down like this. Just a big strand of hair coming down like this. And maybe a smaller one coming from the side. And we'll have a, another one coming from the same area down like this then go back up and we'll have another one coming down like this and then we'll have this one like curve in a kind of S shape like this like thick to thin like, at the bottom, it should be really thin, but as soon as it gets to the top, it should become much fatter. And another one, maybe a smaller one, like this. And we'll have one last one, which will go across the hair, like this. It'll come up from here, and then come around over his hair like that. There we are. Actually, these should be a little thinner. 
all of these really should be a little thinner. I drew mine too thick. But anyway, you get the point. Um, we're making a lot of these across his face in just this general direction. It doesn't have to be exactly like mine. And maybe one which will come down from here and go to the side like this. Right? And then stuff which will come out this way. And it should blend into the hair seamlessly. Like we'll have some strands over here. And then from this place we'll have this one coming out. Which will blend into the hair going up. And some more from this middle area. Some more. Some more. Just like that. And that's basically the... That's basically Kenshiro done, really. Now, after you put in the hair, all you need to do is add shading and ink it. Which, um, I'll probably do in time lapse and then you can see the final result and kind of just look at that to help you with the inking part of it I might come in to talk a little bit about how I'm shading the hair but uh, yeah for now I think I will put in the rest of like his coat and start inking really in time lapse Alright, so I wanted to pause the time lapse for a second to uh, talk about a little bit about how I'm going about shading the hair. Now, Kenshiro, as you may or may not know, has a black hair. So what I'm doing is, the areas I know will be black, I'm filling it in with a brush pen, with a black brush pen. I get, you can fill it in with any black pen, really. And um, for small details in the hair, I'm taking a 005 micron. And I'm just gonna make some lines going across the shape of the hair. Like, maybe one going across here, one which abruptly ends here, across here, and just like this, very slowly, and, but paying attention, close attention to detail, I am going about creating every single strand of hair so you want going up here all right going completely across a lot of these and yeah I'll be doing this for all of the hairs really this one was a bad example because you can't really see all the details. But, um, let me do another one. Like right here. Have it come up like this. From tiny over here. Really small details across. And over here. Up like this. Another small lines just a couple here and there and uh, yeah that's basically what I'll be doing for all of the hair right let me zoom back out and let's go back to the time lapse <laughs> Alright guys, so that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'll leave this for like the final shading. You guys can look at this and see where the shadow areas need to be and kind of um, finish up your drawing from this. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you like this video. And uh, like if you like this video, of course. And co and in the comments below, write down write what other tutorials you'd like to see from me. 
And alright, so that will be it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.